Hey YouTube, this is um, another review. The reason I'm doing it here and not from my original room is because it's hot. So I stopped by my girlfriend's house and it's pretty more cooler in here. Um, issue 7 of the New 52 Futures End is pretty badass because where they left off in last of issue 7 was Black Adam versus Frankenstein. Now, uh, you see the fight in here. It's pretty badass even though I don't really agree with some of the results because um, Black Adam kind of went psychotic in in that weird um zero zone and whatever so they go at it they rough each other up shazam fucked up he should he sh electrical he let the bad thunder shock frankenstein frankenstein came out with this nice ass lyrics and saying and he said it makes me stronger so he bashed him in the face with a claymore tries to escape the zone it turns out black adam just grabbed his arm saying you know what think a sword could kill me wrecked off his arm and shit it was it was badass i liked it, the fight and frankenstein now has one arm and he's drifting in space while his other group is trying to see through the wreckage of what happened to the storm watchers earlier in issue one um lois lane once again still trying to get date information off of um Ray Robin's girlfriend, um, who was basically a daughter of an uh, arms dealer, so she has some back history with Lois Lane as well. And, and that that little section was okay. You just see the connection between the two females. Nothing like she mentioned Red Robin, but of course the girlfriend doesn't know nothing about his background because he doesn't tell her about the background. And um, Mr. Terrific, that's yeah, Mr. Terrific caught Terry in the park attacked him terry automatically went in like full suit mode like he pulled the iron man and just went beyond and this part kind of pissed me off because i did mention this like earlier i think on like one i was reviewing issue one uh i was hoping mr terrific did not get the android and apparently when terry was being the bum during the day he had the shopping cart with the broken android that he destroyed in issue one and after after he punched the shit out of Mr. Terrific, Mr. Terrific bodyguards got into it, so he's about to fight all of them, but the AI Alfred kept telling him, we need to leave, the odds of you winning is very short. Terry didn't want to leave because he knew he had to ditch the android. So the scary part is that he did decide to avoid the battle and left, but Mr. Terrific said, ooh, what's this? So now Mr. Terrific got his hands on the android. Frankenstein has a missing arm, and his team is checking out the wreckage of the Storm Watchers, which there's dead bodies floating in space. I'm really curious what's going to happen, because I think Terry just fucked up the whole storyline right now. Like, per, like things are going to get more hectic, because, come on, you're, what do scientists do? They see technology they don't understand, they want to experiment with it and reproduce it. So, I think now... Either the AI will get a little much smarter or more upgraded, or he might do something wrong, Mr. Terrific, I mean, and bring that machine back to life. And remember what that machine does. The moment it impales a person, it transforms them into a, syn a synthetic android. And this is going to be really, really hectic. I'm really, really nervous what's going to happen to the world right now in DC because of this. But I can't wait for issue 8. Uh, I'll see you in the next review. This is Nerding Out Nar, signing out.